Hi, my name is Jam, and welcome to a Bishoujo non-action figure review. Today we're going to be looking at Kotobukiya's Bishoujo series Mai Shiranui from the King of Fighters 98. This one-seventh scale statue was sculpted by Yoshiki Fujimoto based on an illustration by Shunya Yamashita. It released in August 2022 for 14,300 yen, and you can get it for around 100 US dollars. Links on where you can buy are in the description. I typically collect action figures, but on occasion I buy static figures, usually for characters I really like, and my Shirinui is one of those characters. I also really enjoy the art of Shunya Yamashita and his Bishoujo renditions of pop culture characters, so the combination of Shunya and Mai was too hard to resist. I probably won't be doing a lot of statue figure reviews since I'm more focused on collecting action figures, but I did want to share my thoughts on this figure. So here's the box Mai comes in, which prominently features graphics from SNK's The King of Fighters 98 video game, such as the charge gauge down here in the corner, just like it would be on screen. On the inside of the box, it fittingly shows the Japan stage, since Mai is of course Japanese, and this has always been one of my favorite KOF backgrounds, with the fight occurring in the middle of the street, under an overpass, as bystanders and drivers look on. This stage is based on the then real life location of SNK's headquarters, and in the background you can even see Neo Geo Land, SNK's flagship arcade, which sadly no longer exists. The bottom of the insert shows the manhole cover that is also seen in the stage. The right side of the box features the character select screen, showing the portraits of all the characters in the game, while the left side of the box shows the Shunya Yamashita illustration this figure is based on. My only real complaint is that they anti-alias the pixel art for the Japan stage and the character select imagery to give it a less blocky appearance. In my opinion, this is a mistake. If you feature pixel art, then you should fully embrace that and show the actual sharp and crispy pixels. If you really want to make the pixel art less harsh, then apply a CRT scanline filter, but definitely do not anti-alias it like this. It just looks bad and is an insult to the original pixel art. Again, that's just my opinion, but what can I say? I love pixel art. Let me know in the comments if you agree or disagree. Mai is well protected, and all the painted bits are covered in plastic to avoid transferring to other services or parts of the figure. No assembly is required. As per usual for Kotobukiya's Bishoujo series, this Mai statue is based on a rendition of the character by Shunya Yamashita. The pose is very close to her fighting stance in the KOF 98 video game, with her knees bent and her fan in her right hand. However, the left hand is holding on to one of her large tassels. Sculpt work is quite good and matches up well with the original illustration, though her right arm seems to be repositioned slightly as the figure positions the fan on the outside of her right knee while it's on the inside of her knee in the illustration. I thought this was kind of odd, so I checked photos of other people's figures and theirs had the fan and arm positioned correctly. So I don't know what happened to my figure, but it's definitely not supposed to be like this. The head sculpt is good, but I also feel like it's off in some way. It's in no way ugly, but the face seems a little less cute than the illustration. I feel like it's a little more angular, or maybe it's because the nose feels much more prominent in actual 3D compared to the simple nose of the 2D illustration. In any case, it's still a great rendition of Mai's face. Hair looks good and there's plenty of detail in the form of separate segments of hair. I wish the ends of her bangs were a little more sharp, but at this scale, it still looks good. Mai's curvy body is well represented in the sculpt, and it's nice to see no obvious seams even though a lot of skin is showing. Those seams are of course hidden well by her outfit, which is appropriately sculpted to look like it is separate from her body, and I love that you can see gaps between her outfit and her skin in a few places. The folds and wrinkles in her outfit match up well with the source illustration, and they even did a good job at recreating her flowing tassels. However, I do feel like the part of the tassel that she is grabbing is slightly misinterpreted in the sculpt compared to the illustration. When I look at the illustration, I feel like this section from her belt to her hand is in more of a rounder arc, like a parachute catching the wind, and this shading here is really informing that shape. But in the sculpt, it looks much flatter and even a little unrealistic in the way it's folding, and there's no way it's going to replicate the shading seen in the illustration. 
I don't know, it, it just feels off to me. Moving on, Mai is standing on a rectangular base mimicking the texture of an asphalt road. The manhole cover seen in the Japan stage of KOF 98 is replicated rather nicely. Mai is attached to the base by metal rods coming out of her feet, and the connection feels sturdy. If there's one thing that I felt immediate disappointment about, it would be the paint job, specifically with her skin. Once I took her out of the box, I was struck by how plasticky her skin looks. There is some shading here and there, but it's a little too subtle in my opinion, and I wish a little more could have been applied to give her skin more color and life. As it is, it looks very shiny and lacks the depth seen in the illustration or the painted prototype in the official product photos. At first glance, I also felt her outfit was shaded too much, but looking at the source illustration, I think it's actually pretty accurate. I think I only felt it was overdone because her skin is conversely underdone, so there's a heightened visual incongruity. In fact, besides her skin, I think Mai as a whole is painted well. I like the shading in her hair, which is the type of thing I'd love to see more in Figma's, and her outfit as a whole has appropriate shading, which enhances the detail in the sculpt. The base is painted well too, but it is pretty clean looking for a road that is supposed to have a lot of cars driving on it. In the end, that doesn't really bother me. No, it's really just her skin that misses the mark for me in terms of paint. The figure measures a little under 20 centimeters, which is around 7 and 3 quarter inches from bottom of the base to top of her hair. The official English product description states that she looks good from any angle, but I really feel she looks best displayed at eye level or higher. Due to her stance, it's really hard to see her face clearly if she is below eye level. If you're not interested in her face, then indeed, any angle will do just fine. So overall, I do like this figure, but I can't help but feel disappointed by her plastic looking skin whenever I stop to gaze at her beauty. Once you get past that or fix it, then this figure can make a nice addition to your Bishoujo and or my Shiranui collection. Let me know in the comments below if you collect the Bishoujo series figures and if you own this one. And let me know if plastic looking skin is normal for the Bishoujo series. I actually haven't bought one of these since the X-Men Rogue figure which is pretty old. Well that wraps up another review. Please hit like or subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next review. Jam out.